Hello, this is Richard Cespedes, and uh, I'm here to do a little, uh, my first, uh, this is my first video game, um, LP, I guess, what uh, Nintendo Capri Sun calls in this game, uh, in the mall where I worked uh, at Luby's, and, uh, uh, and, and after, uh, after work during the break, I would go to Tilt, which was an arcade that was called Tilt. Um, and it was somewhere in the center of the mall, and I would go in, and they had uh, uh, obviously all the all the regulars, you know, like Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat, you know, one sometimes, and they had a uh, uh, WrestleMania, and they had a uh, um, Soul Calibur, and a lot of shooting games, and just a lot of fun things, and uh, and um, I, I remember this game when it first came out that I was just. It was really fun. It looked like it was a lot of fun. It looked like it was a lot of. Um, they, 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 they did a good job in the CGI and the, and the movies and and how they kind of blend in the animation with the with the with the live action shooting and all that. And uh, yeah, and like just by looking at this, you know, it's really well well done. I mean, look at the the lighting and the background looks really immense and real kind of like epic, you know. So it's Carn Evil. I thought it was a real good play on words, you know. And so, okay, which one? I'll probably pick the haunted house. Start left to right. And I always thought this intro right here was pretty damn good. It's fun, you know. Um, they really, they outdid themselves, you know. They just went above and beyond when they went to, when they made this game. It's a haunted house. And we start off with a zombie right there. Got that one. A few right there. Boom, boom, boom. And the one coming up. And the environment. It's, wow, you know, they did a real good job of the environment, you know, uh, and, and, and they really thought it through it, and also, also, what's really impressive, not only the environment, oh, got that one, and is the, uh, the music, the music to the game is really is, uh, pretty, pr really is pretty fun. They did a real good job on the instrumentation and the arrangement of the music for the levels, that one, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't want to put Carnival down, but I kind of felt like the little ghosts, Goblin things, they kind of, they kind of seem a little bit, um, really not, not really well made. They kind of seem a little bit off. I kind of felt like they could have had more time in designing the those goblins, flying goblins. But oh, overall, the rest of the character, like the zombies right there got that one too. I like the way they died, got cut in half. But the way they designed the zombies, pretty cool. The spiders also was a little bit iffy, but they pretty cool. This guy right here, he's, 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 he's well, well designed. You see, I shoot him right, I, sh I just shoot him in the knee. And it's pretty cool because you can shoot him all over and kind of like rip off his meat. Got him right there, boom, boom, boom. And he just die, die, die. Got him. So he, he's dead f for now. He's dead. But just the the energy of the game, you know, right there. That closet right there with all the instruments and just just the, the detail that they put into the environment. is just, they did such a damn good style. And did, did such a damn good job. You know? Right here, and you see, there's no way you could have saved that girl. There's no way you could have saved her. Boom, boom, boom. It's a hunt over there. And that girl with the hatchet in the kitchen. I thought that was pretty cool. Probably opened up the bottom. See, it is just, it just, there's so much stuff to the environment. And it throws the torso at you. Didn't hit me that time. But I remember playing this game, uh, because this, this is the arcade, you know, obviously. You know, this is the main arcade, and so, like, you you have a lot of cheats and you have a lot of uh a bit uh you could you know there's no coin to put into slots and you just kind of play the game forever and you'll never never not be able to beat the game boom got got down boom right right in the head is usually the best way to shoot them and uh, you know I like shooting I like getting the speed bullets the heart right there this part right here was really really cool like really like, like a crazy haunted fun house it did an awesome job this game itself is just enough for like a, a real haunted house you know to play or at home you know if, you, if you're able to buy the arcade and here's ham bones revenge I, I like the way they did that i like the skull bullets too just a little bit right there boom, boom, boom. half his face is blown away and you're dead see now uh but what i was saying is that like when you're playing the game you, the, the, the the guns that they used for the arcade were um like um, shotgun, like uh, shot of shotguns, I guess we should call them single barrel shotguns, small barrel shotguns, 
They're called shot up and it was a purple one and it was a green one and I always like using the green one. And uh, you had to always shoot and then reload I think, or no, you would shoot and then when you run out of bullets then you reload and get your, money, your, your bullets back, I think that's how it was. But usually you would just kind of shoot one bullet and constantly reload by cocking the the the, the, the part of the shotgun where you, know, you just cock it back and you get your bullets. I thought that was pretty cool. Instead of shooting out to the side which you would Virtual Fighter and the other games. You know, and uh, that was pretty cool. So, you know, like, the environment and everything. It, you know, I always appreciate games like this because just to look at the clouds, you know. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that's pretty cool. The ghosts have green spirits when they die. Let's see what else. Oh yeah, that right there. The hate goes down that. Boom, boom, boom. Got that one. Got that one. There you go. Gotcha. You're dead. And that, you see, that heart is so impossible to get. I don't know how you would even get that heart. Boom, boom. Got that one. Got. You see, these guys would throw up on you, but then shoot them. And this is evil Mary. She actually is pretty hard when you play her in arcade. If you have to use a lot of coins, kind of like you know, if you just for beginners who just pretty start of the game, you just use your coins to shoot them. Boom, 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 got you. Right there, just die. Right there, come on, come on, come on. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now I'm coming back. Boom. And so, like. The bosses are really cool, you know, like, this game is just like a straightforward, shoot them up, gory, blast them, shoot them down game, you know, straightforward game, you know.